We receive a lot of questions about water ionizers, namely which plates are the best, which certifications are most important, how to use the ionizer with hard water, tap water, RO water, well water, and how we claim to have a better ionizer for such a great price. To answer these questions and to explain how the Alive Water Ionizer represents a major advancement in ionizer technology, I sat down with Richard Mayer, the electrical genius behind the Alive Water Ionizer design. Now let me tell you first a little bit about Richard. Back in the 1980s, he was designing and building electric cars for some of the top Hollywood celebrities, including Jay Leno, Ed Begley Jr., Alan Alda, Alexander Paul, Fran Tarkenton, and others. Also, if you've ever seen an electric scooter or skateboard, including those that say Schwinn or Mongoose, the odds are its motor was designed and patented by Richard. As a former UCLA professor, I consider him an electrical design genius who spends much of his time developing ongoing upgrades to the Alive Water Ionizer, the Alive Air Purifier, developing some of our new cutting-edge health products, and overseeing our factory and quality control. So here's a few minutes with Richard. The question we probably get the most often is how can the Alive Water Ionizer be as good as the $4,500 machines for a third or a quarter of the price? Well, depending a lot of things. One, most of the ones that are $4,000 and up are doing multi-level marketing, where the, the, your machines are buying factory direct, which means there's no very few layers of profit in there. Um, also, the uh, labor rate in China is cheaper, but our quality is as good. Uh, and the materials that go into these machines, when you buy large enough quantities like we do, we can get the price down. A lot of the companies you see out there that you're that advertised, they don't have a company. They're buying through a broker, and the broker takes their part of it. And so, and they're, they don't have any interaction with the factory or anything. We own the tooling. We actually own it. And so no one's going to go behind us and make this, or no one's going to be building other units. So that's the important part. So that's how we can offer it the best quality at the best price. And I've been doing this for 16 years, and be able to go to the factories and get the best quality out of them at the best price. When you first started investigating and looking at other ionizers, the first thing you saw was there was a number of flaws or defects in the design. What we do as a company, we look at all the products everyone's making. And most of the ionizers that were coming out of China were very inferior. They used poor circuit boards, poor plates, they used, the power supply was terrible. The ones out of Japan are pretty good and they use pretty good power supplies. And they're in, but they're, they're very, very expensive out of Japan. So we want to get the best of both worlds. We took it and we actually made a better machine using better power, power supplies and better plates. It has to do with how they fit. In other words, you, can, you can't just go grab one power supply and grab a plate and put them together and it works. No, they have to work together and it's taken a long time to get the match of the two together where you have the right circuit going across, the right amount of power going across. You have an anode and a cathode, which is a positive and negative plate. You want to saturate those with the right amount of electricity to go so the water passes by. Then you get the alkaline on one side and you get the acidic on the other. So the power supply is, has to be matched to the plates. That's what we did. No one else is doing that. The, the good machines are doing it. Don't get me wrong. The expensive ones that cost $4,000, they're doing it. Hey, Richard, tell us about the ETL certification uh, that you, I know you work so hard for. ETL is the highest certification you can get on a consumer product, and it's, it's a voluntary system. You don't have to be ETL or UL approved. I don't think people understand that. But any large, man, any large retailer, Walmart, Sam's Club, any of the large ones have to require UL or ETL, and they really like ETL better because it's a higher standard. What ETL stands for is that it... It's an independent third-party tester. And what it does, it actually looks at the owner's manual and tests every aspect of the item that they're testing to make sure that it, what you say it does. Then it tests for safety and it tests for quality. And that's why we require all of our products to be ETL approved. 
where people ask about plates and they ask about a lot of questions, I come back and I always say, if you're ETL approved, one, you know it's going to be safe, and they're not going to leach anything off the plates because they tested this. They've gone through every aspect of the, in this case, a water ionizer, and tested all of them. And so you can be very confident that if something in any product you buy has ETL approval, you can be confident that it's, it is going to last and it does what it says it will do. No more, no less. It's a very strong test and it takes a long time and it's expensive. It's expensive also, there's like 200 things they test for. Oh, a lot more than that. No, they have a whole regimen you go through and depending on what, it depends on what category you're in. Now, if we're selling, let's say, children's toys, that's a whole new category they go to. Size of the holes for kids to get their fingers in, because I've done that before, I have helped people get through ETL testing on that. And what they do is they take, the, they take your product, they go through it, and they recommend things they want you to change. So it's a process. You just don't send it to them and they, and they automatically approve you. There, no, they actually go look at the factory, the certifications. Uh, they like to see factories that are ISO 9000, which all of ours are. And so they're looking at this from the standpoint of the whole, whole picture, not just the actual item itself. And why aren't other ionizer companies getting the ETL certification? It's very difficult to do. It's, it's, it's when you make a quality product and, and you, it is more, a lot more expensive to make an ETL approved product. And they want to sell these things real cheap. And they're, again, it's a voluntary thing. So, so they're trying to get around this, but oh, you don't need that. Or no, we're CE. You see a lot of things in CE. That's the European standard. Now, CE is the lowest standard you can get on anything. And CE means nothing. And there's other standards in Europe, like Roche. No, no one knows about Roche. We are Roche approved on our machine, which means we have no lead content in the machine on any circuit boards or anything. U.S. doesn't require that, but we're Roche approved because we're worldwide. So um, most companies that are selling the cheap, cheap products are not ETL approved. But you'll never see those in any major stores. You'll never see, never see, you'll ever see a brand name without something that's either UL or ETL approved. UL is Underwriters Laboratory. And they've been around for many, many, many years. ETL came in, and actually it's a stronger one. And if you're going to sell to the major department stores, they're now requiring ETL. Let's start from the beginning. What an ionizer needs to be an ionizer. You take some minerals in the water. If you use, you run distilled water through it, or dead water, or RO water, reverse osmosis there's a real controversy about that, RO, is it takes everything out of the, of, of the water. Including the light. Including all the stuff you really need in the water. Well, an ionizer uses the minerals, the good minerals, as it goes across for the anode and the cathode to bring the pH level up. So if you run water through it that has nothing in it or, or a low TDS, totally dissolved solids, it will not work as well. And so what happens is people buy an ionizer and they're on well water. And they think they're on well water, or great, but they don't realize a well has a filter already on it. And that has taken all the thing out, but that's how it's taken the bad and the good things out. So what we've done, developed two things. One, it's a small filter like this, and they, all the filters come in plastic, so I'll open this one up. But once you open them up, then they start to, they don't degrade, but you need to use it within, you know, a week or so. But well, now I'm going to open this up, and what this filter is, it's a different filter that comes than what it comes with the machine. which allows you to, um, which kills viruses, bacteria, things of that nature in this part of it. Then what it has, it has a charcoal filter, and that's just to polish the water. Charcoal, and it removes the benzenes and, all the, and that type of stuff. <music> then on the bottom of this has a mineral stone, which will put the minerals back in the water, which makes the ionizer work very well. So if you have well water, you're going to need one of these filters. And we, all you have to do is call the company up and we can supply these. So this is one style, and then we have the other one. Let's see, grab that one for me. This is a water. This is a filter that is used with, with reverse osmosis. Reverse osmosis really takes everything out. So what we do, we put this in line with a reverse osmosis system under your sink, and it has the same connectors that your reverse osmosis does, and it just plugs in there and plugs in there. So what you'll do, you'll unplug one side of your reverse osmosis, and the other plug it in here and plug it in there, and you let it go. And this will last about 10,000 liters, so it's a long time. It's a big filter. We did that for that reason, so it'll last the person a long time. They're not having to replace a lot of these. This will completely solve the problem of RO. And even if I didn't have an ionizer, 
I'd have one of these filters anyway because the RO is dead water. And so if I use an RO system, you really should have one of these filters anyway. Put the minerals back in the water that are good for you. You need that stuff. So that's basically what happens. So the source water is important. I would say 80% of people in the United States, when you get their ionizer, it works perfect. But that 20% we want to address because when they get it, we want them happy. So what they do is they will test their water and do a pre-test on it. And then if they, if they run a machine for a while, now you need to run it for at least two or three weeks to get everything going and, and, and uh, kind of call a balance. Then test your water again. If you're getting not, not getting high enough pH, then call up. And, we'll and then you'll probably get one of these. And then if, and then if you have an RO system, to begin with, you can get one of these. An RO system in, a, in people, before we had this, this um, filter, when person would call them and say, I have an RO system, I want to use the uh, water ionizer, I'd say two things. One, you can't use it with the RO. Or two, if, um, if you're, gonna, you're, you're not going to get good results, so you're, I'm not going to sell to you. Because unless you're not going to use your RO, you're not going to get results. So we developed this filter, this one here, for the RO system. Well, then with tap water, you've got your chlorine and benzene, which the carbon is going to take out. Right, right. And, <clears throat> of course, the chlorine and fluoride and that mm -hmm. also kill the viruses and bacteria. So right. So that's not so much of a problem. So is the carbon version that comes with the unit... Is that sufficient? I like this filter better myself. The one that comes with the unit is a carbon filter that does remove the benzenes and, the, uh, and those things. Yeah. And remember, the source water in the United States is all very good. So you're not going to have any problems with it. But, but And what the carbon does, it, well, the one that comes with it, it really polishes the water and makes it a very, uh, very taste, taste very good. This one here does more than that. This one will remove bacteria and viruses also. So depending on what system you have for your house. Yeah, and I love the fact that we're able to make it more affordable for more people to get healthier. Right. Which it never really, so it's kind of like we've done the Henry Ford, what Henry Ford did with the Model T, bringing a car to, to millions of people, uh, making ionizers affordable for people now. Yeah, because we're not a multi-level marketing system. We're, we're direct from the factory, so the layers of profit, there's, there's one or two layers of profit in there versus being seven to eight or nine or ten. When you have 10 layers of profit, you have to divide it up. You can figure out why they cost $4,000. Now, that $4,000 machine is a very good machine. I, I think you know who I'm talking about. It's an extremely good machine. I mean, I'm not going to sit here and say anything yeah. negative about it because uh, it's fabulous. Is it worth $4,000? That's up to the person's own decision, what they want to do. Is our machine as good? Absolutely it's good. Absolutely 100% is good. And so, you, uh, But I don't want to sit here and badmouth anything about that type. Now, there are many other ones out there I wouldn't touch. But that type of machine, I, it's, it's very good. There's many good ionizers out there. And the gamut of pricing ranges from 4000 down. And we're just able to bring the best quality we can. Whatever you buy, honestly, um, when we talk about price, if it's not ETL approved, don't even go near it. Don't touch it. it, it, it you're just gonna, it's just not going to work for you. And to be ETL approved, as I said before, that's the highest quality standard you can get. So price isn't the issue right now. And a lot of times in life, price isn't always the issue. It's, it's getting a good product out to people at a good value. And that's one of the things we try to do here, and it, it allows people, as you say, the Henry Ford to get out to the masses. Because ionizers are just taken off in this country. Other countries, they're very big. You know, in Japan, yeah. they're a medical device. Yeah. And every single hospital bed in Japan has one at their bed. And they're all over the place. In, in Taiwan, the same way, and in Korea. It's just taken off in this country. And it's going to be, it's going to explode. And uh, we're, gonna, we're on the forefront of it, and we have the best quality product I think we can build.